Hey, this is Mr. P, and I'm coming to you with your Algebra 1 e-learning lesson for Tuesday, May 19th. And we're continuing in our statistics unit, so that's Chapter 12. This is Section 12.3, and we're splitting this into a couple parts. So the first part um, is going to be looking at what we call measures of central tendency, so analyzing data and finding um, mean, median, mode of particular sets of data, sets of numbers. All right, so again, measures of central tendency, we'll see that term. Again, we're referring to mean, median, and mode, and we'll talk about each of those specifically in more detail, what the mean of a data set is, what the mode is, uh, what the median is, and how to find those for a given set of data, a given set of number for various situation. Um, in a set of data, we can have another key term here is what we call an outlier. So just think of that as a, a number that's either much greater or much less than any other number in the data set. Okay, so um, and that'll kind of affect uh, which measure of central tendency, so mean, median, mode, we can use to most effectively describe the data. Okay, so the mean. Okay, let's let's talk about the mean first. So the mean. It's just another word for average. So basically the mean is the average of the values of the data set. So we take the sum of the data values, we add up all of the numbers, and then we divide by the total number of values. Okay? So and the mean is most effective in describing uh, the data set when we do not have an outlier. Okay? Median is the middle value or values. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um, you know, why in just a second, when you, when the values are listed in order. So to find the median, we have to list our numbers in numerical order, okay? Um, so I say middle value or values because for an even number of values, we'd actually have to take the median or the average of the middle two numbers. Um, if we had an odd number of values, then it's simply just the one middle value, okay? The one middle number when we write them in order. The mode, that's just the most common number. Okay, and actually, um, if no number occurs more than once, we can actually have no mode, um, one mode, so one number that occurs more than any other numbers, or we can have more than one mode. So we'll see examples um, that demonstrate those things. So let's just get into it. So first example, here's our data set. So numerous numbers, so I'll tell you there are 34 numbers in this set. Um, to find the mean, what you're going to do is add all the numbers together. So when you add all these numbers, so we're going to start by finding the mean or the average. The sum, I will go ahead and tell you again, you, what you got to do is take all these numbers, 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1, so on and so forth, okay? Add them together, so let's just say what the sum is. So the sum of all those numbers is 124. And as I just told you, there are 34 terms. So remember our definition of mean says we take the sum divided by the number of terms. So the mean is going to equal 124 divided by 34. Um, I believe in your assignment, which um, it will be on Schoology, it will be on the, in this folder. Um, I believe it asks you to round to the nearest tenth. So it's approximately 3.6, okay, when we round to the nearest tenth, okay, the mean or the average value. The median, since there's an even number of values, again, we have to take the, the mean of the middle two values. So notice when we list them in order, okay, in order to find the median, you have to put them in order. So this is the set of numbers in numerical order. The middle two values are three and four. Okay, so there's 34 values. The middle two are three and four, and there's 16 on either side. So that's how you know you found the middle when you have the same number of terms on either side. Um, so to find the, the median, I actually need to take the mean of those two numbers. So how do I find mean? Add them together, divide by two. So three plus four, divide by two. Add the numbers first. So three plus four is seven, divide by two get a mean value, or a median of 3.5. Okay, what's the mode? So what number occurs the most? Okay, well, it looks like uh, 
There's a lot of fives. Let's count the fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does any other number occur more than that? Uh, looks like there's a lot of threes. Let's check those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. So our mode is three. It's the number, the value that occurs most often. Okay, and what measure of central tendency best describes the data? Okay, since we have no outlier, right? There's no, none of these numbers are any, are significantly greater or less than any of the others. So, since there's no outlier, the mean would be the best measure of the data. It would be the best way to describe the uh, the central tendency of the data. The best, me the best measure of central tendency would be the mean or the average. Okay, so 3.6, that's our mean. So again, because we have no outlier, that's the best way to describe the data. Um, so let's try a couple more here, okay? Let's try a couple more. All right, next one. Again, we're still looking at uh, mean, median, and mode. Okay, and I notice this says range. We're not going to find the range till our our next section. Okay, so. Range that's not going to come till part two. That'll be tomorrow's e learning. Okay, so let's just worry about mean, median, mode for now. So the mean again, we have to add up all the values and then divide by the number of values. Okay, so here's our set of data. I will tell you the sum is 484, and the number of values happens to be 13. So I have 13 terms. So my mean is going to equal 484 divided by 13. Okay, so when I do that, if I round to the nearest tenth, well again, that's one decimal place to the right of the decimal, I get 37.2. That would be my mean value. All right, so median. Okay, remember we write them in numerical order, which is what I've done here. The median, since this has an odd number of values, right, 13 is odd, it's just simply the one middle value, right? So my median happens to be 38, because if I look on this side, I have six values, right? If I look on this side of the 38, I have six. So 38 smack dab in the middle. So my median is 38. All right, and the mode, okay, so what number occurs the most often? And we should see um, that 38 occurs three times, okay, so is there any number that occurs more than that? Well, 40 also occurs three times, and what this means, this actually has two modes, right, because they both occur, there's a tie for the most occurrences, so this actually has a mode of 38 and 40. Remember, we said we can have more than one mode. Okay? Right? Because both of them occur three times. All right. One last example. And we are just finding mean, median, and mode. So let's take a look at the data set. Okay, so here's a set of data. Um, one thing we should notice, right, I got 32, 35, 3, 36, 37, 35, 38, 40, 42, 34. What is 3 in this data set? Okay, so you should be telling me that 3 is an outlier, right? Because three is much less than any of these other data points. So we're just gonna make a note that three is an outlier. All right. Um, and 
recall, in the last two examples, we did not have outliers, okay? So in this example, three is an outlier. And so find, let's go ahead and find the mean. So adding all the values, I will tell you that the sum is 332. Okay, there are 10 terms. How do I find the mean? I take the sum of the terms by adding them all together, divide by the number of terms. So 332 divided by 10, I get um, 33.2 for my mean. For the median, okay, I have an even number. I have 10 terms, so I need to find the middle two numbers. And one, two, three, four, okay. So I got four terms on this side, and then my middle two numbers are 35 and 36, and I got four on this side, so that's how I know those are the middle terms. Okay, um, so to find the median, I need to take the mean of those middle two numbers. So I have to do 35 plus 36 divided by 2, right? So that's 71 divided by 2, which is going to be 30.5, okay? So that's my median. That's the median. Mode. Okay, so what number occurs the most often? The only number that occurs more than once is 35. So that's my mode. That occurs more than any other number. What measure describes the data best? Okay, since there is an outlier, right? We have three as an outlier. We would say that the median describes the data, best describes the data, right? Because we have an outlier. Okay, so remember in the last two examples we didn't have an outlier, so the mean was the best uh, representation of data. Here, median is the best representation because we have an outlier. Remember, three is an outlier because it is so much less than all the other data points. All right, so recapping. Remember, mean, add up all the numbers, divide by the number of terms. Median, okay, it's either the middle number or the average of the middle two numbers. Okay, depending on if you have an even or odd number of terms. Okay, mode, that's the number that occurs more, most often. You can actually have more than one mode. Okay, um, and then which one describes uh, the data the best? If there's no outlier, it's the mean. If there is an outlier like this one, median describes the data the best. All right, so again, your assignment is in the folder for eLearning 519 on Schoology. Again, tomorrow we'll continue uh, with eLearning 520. It'll be part two of this section uh, where we'll look at range and some other applications of mean, median, and mode. Okay, until then, uh, we'll see you guys later.